couldn't stay in China at first. I thought he was a nut. And once I read the Bible for myself, I'm able to accept the truth now. All right. And it doesn't make me angry. I'm talking about the Lauren Hardy show on Wednesday. Don't worry about them, some of y'all. Get off of it, would you? Don't dare do that again. Shut that up. Shut that up. Shut that up. As your pastor, I am telling you, please. Don't waste your time on Wednesday nights watching this television program. If you're looking for Laurel and Hardy, I left my derby and I left my cane, but I did bring my Bible. If you'll read along with me, you'll find that the persons who are making the accusations, they're really the ones who have a problem. I hear them telling you to shut up, that you're going to be embarrassed, and I even hear them flat out saying, I'm telling you what to do as a pastor. Give me a chance and I'll give you what does the Bible say. Always ask for what does the Bible say. Get it right here on Star News. New time, Thursday nights at 9 o'clock. Are you going to church only to find a club? Are you tired of looking for the Bible but only getting Babel? If you want to find people who are studying God's Word, come examine the Church of Christ. We're meeting right here at 250 the Boulevard in downtown Eden. If you want to hear more plain Bible teaching, watch A Word from the Lord Thursday nights at 9 o'clock right here on WGSR. I couldn't stay in China at first. I thought he was a nut. And once I read the Bible for myself, I'm able to accept the truth now. All right. And it doesn't make me angry. I'm talking about the Lauren Hardy show on Wednesday. Don't worry about them, some of y'all. Get off of it, would you? Don't dare do that again. Shut that up. Shut that up. Shut that up. As your pastor, I am telling you, please, don't waste your time on Wednesday nights watching this television program. If you're looking for Laurel and Hardy, I left my derby and I left my cane, but I did bring my Bible. If you'll read along with me, you'll find that the persons who are making the accusations, they're really the ones who have a problem. I hear them telling you to shut up, that you're going to be embarrassed, and I even hear them flat out saying, I'm telling you what to do as a pastor. Give me a chance and I'll give you what does the Bible say. Always ask for what does the Bible say. Get it right here on Star News. New time, Thursday nights at 9 o'clock. The views expressed on this program do not necessarily reflect the views of the station, its employees, or ownership. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to A Word from the Lord. James over here with you, and uh, good to have you in our audience. Thanks for tuning in. I want to welcome those of you who are up in uh, Michigan as well. Uh, we appreciate you watching and uh, let us know if we can uh, assist you in any way. We'd be glad to do that. Uh, when the phone numbers come up, you'll be getting a number uh, of someone who is in your area and you can uh, call that number and get someone closer to you. But if you want to call in and, and talk live on the show, we'd be glad for you to do that as well. Here's my contact information, 276-340-2653 is my phone number, wordpreneur at gmail.com. And we are meeting at 250 the Boulevard uh, there here in Eden, or there in Eden. We're in Eden right now. Uh, 823 Starling Avenue in Martinsville, 120 American Legion in Danville. Uh, Brother Eugene Edwards is in Martinsville, and you can reach him at 276-806-6922 or Mark. McMenus is uh, 434-770-8412. So uh, uh, feel free to, to uh, uh, call those brethren, and uh, they'll be glad to come out and study the Bible with you or help you in any way. Uh, copies of this program or other programs are all free of charge. We have past copies of our tent meeting that um, you may be interested in. And uh, so we, uh, anything that we have is yours free of charge. Just simply ask for it. We'll be glad to get it out to you. So... Um, uh, we want you to uh, be aware of that and take advantage of that. Religious Review coming up at 1030 each Thursday night after the news. And, of course, what does the Bible say is also on Sunday nights at, at 830 uh, here on this channel. We want to welcome those of you who are watching in the Greensboro market as well. We know we're getting down in that area. So if you're watching, we appreciate, appreciate it. We'd like to hear from you. Call in and let us know you're watching in that area and where you're, where you're calling from. When you call in, let us know where you're calling from and uh, uh, let us know how you're watching. Many of you are watching online, uh, our Facebook friends and uh, Ustream uh, gang. We appreciate you, those of you who are watching and uh, we are going to uh, uh, continue to bring these programs to you uh, via the internet as uh, much as possible. I don't know if you have 
really thought about it or wondered why there is so much violence and corruption going on in society. Tonight's lesson is really designed to help you see the relationship between truth and what's going on in society, or maybe better put, the lack of truth and what's going on in society. And that's really what we want to focus on. When you stop and think about what's going on in our society, I really wish you would stop and think about how a lack of truth is really, maybe not be causing the problem, but it's certainly contributing to it. All right? I guess you could say go ahead and cause it trouble, but, but the one thing we're talking about tonight is definitely a contributor to the problem. Now, first of all, let me tell you what I'm talking about. When I talk about problems in society, corruption and violence, just think for a minute, scandals going on. You know, it ought to appall you. It ought to just turn your stomach at the fact that there are individuals like these, like these uh, 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 folks, Penn State, here is Jerry Sandusky. He's accused of, of molesting children. And this was going on for a number of years while he was a coach under Joe Paterno. Joe Paterno has been a coach for, I think he might have coached Adam in Little League. I don't know. But he's been around a long time. And here people are saying, you know, well, Joe didn't know anything about this. He didn't know anything about it. He, didn't, he did what he could. Friends, do you realize that this man was seen in the university showers with 10-year-old boys engaging in sexual acts, and this man says, well, you know, I, I did what I could. I, I told somebody. Well, that's not something you just flippantly say, well, I told somebody. No, you tell somebody.